ever since this car has been released, there's only one word that comes to my mind every time I see this car. Luxury. And I've been doing car reviews for over a year now and this surely has been at the top of my list now because God has been so faithful and blessed me with this wonderful blessing. I can finally do a review about this car to my heart's content and share with you all the things that I love and what makes the Toyota Velos a very great seven-seater or a family car. What's up gentlemen and ladies? This is Ronnie from Project Gentleman and today I present to you the Toyota Velos 1.5 V CVT. Hope you enjoy this review. The Toyota Velos is an amazing car that can do anything that you would need it to be, especially with your family for a day-to-day -day basis and then some. Even fully packed is an understatement for me with all the things that is equipped with all the technology that a driver can wish for and simply the sitting ability that it has that we'll be discussing more later on. On its website, Toyota classifies the Toyota Velos as one of its SUVs. I guess there are some people who won't really agree to that, but for me, I firmly believe that of what the creator or the manufacturer calls it, I believe that's it. Regardless, no matter what they call it or classify it as, nothing can change the fact that I believe truly this just for me that I would prefer this over all the other SUVs out there today. It's priced very reasonably at uh, 1,250,000 pesos and your color options are purplish silver, black metallic, red metallic, and of course the one that we have today is the platinum white pearl where you need to add a little bit more price at 1,265,000 pesos. Today's variant will be focusing on the V variant, which is the top of the line. And as usual, I'm going to discuss with you guys as well all the other variants so that you can choose or decide which is the one that best suits for you. So subscribe for that. So right off the bat, guys, I'm going to tell you right ahead that uh, the top spec is the one that I would really recommend. It's the most worth it variant. It has the most technology in it, fully packed. And I promise you, this is really worth it. You're only going to have to add a little bit more than the lower variant, which is the G. So now that I finally got that out of the way, let's get into it. The Toyota Velos is powered by a 1.5 liter engine. It comes with CVT, four cylinders, and it has a front wheel drive. You can see in the screen the maximum output and the maximum torque. And guys, actually, we have already took this vehicle out for a road trip. And I must say, guys, honestly, I was really impressed with the power and the torque or the driving performance of this car. More on that on the upcoming videos. So now let's proceed to the exterior looks and discuss what makes this beautiful. For your front fascia, right away, you'll be greeted with the very modern Toyota's language or design language which they have been implementing or using on their newer models so first let's talk about this chrome detail here at the front starting from the headlight and then going to the front and then that would be all the way through to the other end of the headlight okay that right there looks uh brings out the luxury or the premium feel of the car that is also done here below at the fog lamp side which, like I said, these chrome details really um, exudes luxury or elegance to this car. Very nice. And let's talk about this front grille as well that is, I believe, made of plastic. Black front grille with this uh, V-shape or triangular patterns all over the grille, which is really nice and just really complements the chrome accents. Now let's talk about your lights here up front. Let's start with the one that's been capturing our attention right away you see the sequential turning lights guys i love them so much i've been dreaming of this i've been wanting them so much uh, i wanted to install them on my vios but thankfully we have it here right now on our toyota velos so you can see the sequential turning lights very awesome looking guys i believe that's really rare i don't see that too much these days and you also have them on your side mirrors, which is really awesome. Because aside from it looks really beautiful, it also helps with visibility to other motorists as well. And then you can see also the camera for your very awesome feature that we're going to be talking about later on. You also have LED headlights, guys, as it should be. 
at this price point you expect that and you also have this very beautiful light strips or it could serve as drls but it's not technically a drl but you have to uh, turn it on manually on your switch at the driver's side so that's really cool you, you can turn on what we call the park light or dim light or whatever you call it if you want and for your fog lamps guys i'm so sorry to tell you unfortunately we only have halogen fog lamps it's up to you if you're gonna change it to aftermarket i'm still thinking about it but i believe these right here will do the job so now let's go to the side guys this right here is your side profile for the toyota velos if you remember that chrome detail or chrome line from the headlights it extends to the side guys all the way to the back to maintain that luxury or vip look and then at the side guys you have your black or matte black rubber fenders i'm so glad that here in the philippines this is what they gave us because in other countries they use just the regular or the uh the body color or it doesn't even have one of these so i'm so thankful i'm really uh, pleased because it really matches well with the overall aesthetic of the car for your wheels you have this fang looking two-tone alloy wheels with a 17 inches 205 by 50 tires bridgestone is the brand of your tires which is really nice and speaking of tires you can always buy bigger ones if you're not satisfied with the ground clearance of the toyota velos which is 190 millimeter ground clearance that could certainly be changed if you change or upgrade your tires to bigger ones then finally let's go to the rear part this is how it looks like uh, you have your led lights guys with a straight line which achieves that european look and it looks even more beautiful at night time guys as you can see right here it is very much highlighted during night time it looks like you have a lightsaber all right that's really cool i love this about the toyota velos what do you think guys comment below next you have your rear wipers right here so that you won't have difficulty during rainy season and then you have your shark fin antenna which i really love and this uh, rear spoiler right here which just really seals the deal of the beautiful aesthetic of the rear part and also houses your rear camera next you have your toyota emblem right here at the middle and to continue with the european look or reference you have the velos nameplate written or the emblem all over at the back which makes it easier for people to know the name of this beautiful car so what do you think of the exterior looks of the Toyota Velos, guys? Please let me know in the comment section below. And just in case you liked it, I'm pretty sure that you'll be more amazed once we get inside this vehicle. So let's go. And to open her up, this is going to be the key of the Toyota Velos. Okay. Similar with other siblings from Toyota. You have the unlock and the lock uh, button, the Toyota emblem. All right. So... All right, there you go, and unlock. So guys, for those of you who has been around the channel for quite some time now, you know how happy I am that finally God has answered my prayers on the power retractable side mirrors. Finally, thank you, Lord. So for the front seat, uh, of course, what you can see right here is uh, different accents, different color shades, the different color schemes, actually. This one is just um, not so uh, cheap plastic material. I can say that it is uh, medyo lamang siya dun sa uh, ibang models ni Toyota but still uh, I I like the feeling. I'm satisfied or kumbaga I like the the yung pagkakagawa nitong part na to. And then this one is also uh, I think it's still uh, plastic but uh, it's really nice looking as well. I like the uh, color scheme ng overall look ni Velos. Then you have your chrome here ng uh, bukasan ng pintuan. And then ito guys oh, ang ganda. Carbon uh, fiber looking. Right? And then still plastic na item. And then you have your uh, still the same color with this one. Ito, maganda to guys. This one is really what I like. Uh, feels premium ito guys. Uh, itong part na to. Yung kumbaga elbow rest uh, I think sa ibang sasakyan, medyo premium yung uh, ginamit na materials. But still guys, for me, 
uh, this is premium enough actually for me. When I ride this car, when I drive this car, I believe that uh, it's premium for me. Para sa akin, napaka-premium talaga. And then, of course, nakapansin nyo kagad yung ambient lights na kulay blue. And then, you have parang slot dito. This is where I put my phone sometimes. And then, two bottle holders here. And then, dito po natin uh, nilalagay yung uh, payong natin pag uh, rainy season. So, move over tayo dito sa mismong uh, front seat. Tignan niyo po, ito po yung kanyang uh, bukasan ng fuel tank. And then, I love the steering wheel, guys. It's leather, actually. For your display panel, guys, I love it so much. It's all digital now. All information that you'll need will now be accessible and very easy to see for you guys. So, I'm excited to talk more about that, guys. So, just stay tuned. And then, itong part na to is the default um, cup holder ni Velos. Yan, nilagyan na muna natin ng car freshener. But yeah, this is uh, perfect, especially for those who love to buy their coffee. And syempre, di pwedeng wala si passenger, guys. Ito po yung kanyang cup holder sa passenger side, which is really nice. And then, ang ganda rin nung kanyang aircon vents dito, guys. I like it Com compared sa ibang sasakyan. Napaka-simple lang. Yan, simple and elegant lang po ang kanyang vents for the aircon. And then you have here a very beautiful uh, steering wheel, guys, controls. Yan, napakaganda po rin ang kanyang infotainment system. Tuloy-tuloy uh, na yan papunta sa kanyang napakaganda rin ang armrest. Leather po. And then uh, masarap naman patungan ng elbow pag nagdadrive. Then you have your wireless charging capability. Guys, diba? It's really awesome. Napaka-hitek ng sakin na to. And then, you also have your auto hold and your electronic parking brakes. And then, ito po yung itsura ng kanyang gear box or kanyang shifter. Ayan, no? So, yan. Simple lang. And then, you have more piano black accents right there. And then, you have your push start button. And then, uh, may indicator po kayo kung sinong hindi nagsusot ng seatbelt. And then, yeah, and for the aircon controls po, ito po yung itsura. Still, uh, you have that option for your uh, fan, your blower, and the temperature. So, ang gusto po dito ay Velos is knobs po yung nilagay nila dito, which I really love. Because isa po ang tao na palaging nag adjust ng aircon control. So, I'm so thankful na hindi po siya yung dipindot, yung dial type. Gusto po itong knob type kasi... I can easily adjust it anytime I want. So, thank you, Lord. Yan yung nilagay nila kay Velos. So, yan. Pagdating sa kanyang infotainment system, yan po kayang screen. Sanchan nyo na, nilagyan ko na kagad ng phone holder na 5.3 sa nun. And then, you can see naman the cream accent all the way. Dyan. Sa kabilang dulo. And then, papunta na sa kanyang upuan. Okay? So, you have that Velos emblem. Alright? And then, kita nyo naman sa mga upuan, guys, oh. I really thought I wanted to put some uh, seat cover on this. I really wanted or planned to put a seat cover. But so far, I'm so satisfied naman. As you can see, naka-semi-leather naman po yan. Leather sa part na to. And yan. And then, may halong fabric. Which really is a combination of comfort and luxury in terms of the aesthetic. Okay. Then I really appreciate that the Toyota Velos comes with LED dome lights. Yung uh, puti yung kanyang ilaw, hindi kaya nung dati sa Vios natin na orange with halogen. This time, it's color white. Maliwanag ng buhay, guys. So one thing that you might not like about this is it doesn't have a mirror or any kind of um, vanity setup for the driver's side. You're gonna have to use the side mirrors. So that's something that we're gonna be doing something with for our wife. But the good thing is we have that here on the passenger side, which is usually the case, you know, for our passenger queen or passenger princess. There you go. You have your vanity mirror and some lights to support the vanity. Awesome. Yeah. So to begin with guys, I'm so glad that because this is the top of the line, they have put a telescopic and a tilt adjustment for the steering wheel, okay? 
So as you can see, tilt and telescoping. So you have the ability to adjust to whatever angle you're most comfortable with while you're driving. You have seat height adjustment, all right? So you won't gonna be having any problem at all no matter what your height is. Of course, you have the recline, you have um, adjustments, okay? On the other hand, the passenger side of the first row doesn't have seat height adjustment. So take note of that. At least the driver has the ability to do that, all right? Now let's go to the second row. For your second row, guys, it's really comfortable out here. You can see I'm 5'9", but very spacious. Thank you, Lord. Uh, being a claustrophobic, this is a very big deal for me so thankfully i can enjoy the second row as well of my car just in case my wife is driving so this is the awesome part about this guys this actually has the capability the second row seats can be adjusted both uh forward and backward so you can freely adjust whenever you're having road trips no matter who's sitting in front or the driver and who's sitting here in the second row will always have, you know, can always meet halfway because you can adjust your second row seats. To continue with the second row, guys, there's another thing that you can enjoy here, guys, in the second row. This is something that I'm also particular about. There are times that we just want to enjoy our investment, right? We want to sit down at the back, you know, feeling like a someone, like a CEO or a boss, just sitting down here at the back of your car. You need something to you know rest your elbow on or your arm on so what i love about the toyota velos as well guys another thing that they've put in this car that is really awesome is that you can fold this part right here by pulling this mechanism right here and start to enjoy your elbow rest or your arm rest and feel like a ceo or a vip just drinking your cup of coffee and enjoy the ride so awesome. Second row passengers can also drink their coffees from this cup holder right here. It has a retractable mechanism and is very accessible at the middle. And aside from drinking their coffee, they can also enjoy their devices because you have two um, charging ports here at the middle still. Very awesome for Toyota to do that on second row seats. You also have here uh, some pockets. Okay. May maliit and then may maluwag or malaking or larger pocket here and then ito naman super duper laki na pockets for your second row ayan isa rin sa nagustuhan ko dito is kanyang air vents modern very uh, futuristic modern design ang kanyang air vents dito sa likuran and then as well as you can control the uh, fan speed ng kanyang blower diba so about po yan dyan sa third row so let's have a quick final look on the second row seats before we tumble them down and transform this really beautiful interior so what do you think of the second row seats guys it also has a combination of the fabric and leather so it's really nice so right now let's tumble them down and let's see how accessible the third row is for the passengers on the third row so very accessible guys and it's spacious actually i kid you not my wife stayed there on our couple of hours road trip that's how spacious the third row is guys and she gave us even comfortable and even slept and for me that just makes velas one of the top or best if not the best seven seaters out there and lastly if you're wondering how it looks like when everything is folded down at the back there you go guys look how spacious that is you can use it for your business or whatever needs that you have or might come in your life that you're gonna need this space so guys this is really awesome so at this point i believe i have shown you how great the Toyota velos is actually as a car both inside and out uh, but but to tell you honestly we are just actually scratching the surface there are still things that i believe i have discovered and i have enjoyed about this car so far that i would really love to share with you all and it can't be fit on this one single video so i'm gonna have to do it on the next one guys so i hope that you'll still stay tuned for that i think it will really be worth it guys because i really believe that this part or this aspect of the toyota velos just really deserves a video on its own 
So that's coming from a tech nerd actually. So I'm excited about that. So stay tuned for that guys. So with a combination of premium looks both inside and out and being fully packed with very high tech and awesome features, surely the Toyota Veloz is one of the greatest seven seaters out there. So what do you think about this offering from Toyota guys? Let me know down in the comments what could have been improved, what's lacking and what do you wish could have been there. So if you found this video helpful, thank you so much for considering to subscribe, like and share to your family and friends. This has been Ronnie with Project Gentleman reminding you that God came here on earth in the form of Jesus Christ so that when we believe in him, we'll have eternal life and when we put him first, all of these things will be added unto us. Thank you so much for watching. Can't wait to see you in the next one. Ciao.